On today's Daily KHL update, we got four great games for you. Who's gonna take the lead in the series? Who's gonna face elimination now? All that and more in today's Daily KHL update. Trotter goes up against Avangard. Trotter won both games in Omsk and allowed zero goals. Let's see if Avangard can score tonight. And right off the bat, Trotter goes up 1 0. Alexey Vasilchenko put the puck on net just 90 seconds in, and that went in. That would be his second of the playoffs. Trotter couldn't possibly wish for a better start. Second period now. Maxim Yukutsena drives to the net. He's got some serious wheels going for him. Stopped by Kari Ramo. That could have gone in. Now Evgeny Kaidajer blasts on that. It hits the post and rolls under Kari Ramo. Avangard is just not present at this game so far. A little later, Evgeny Kuznetsov with a chance of his own. He fools Avangard's defense and he's also denied by the Finnish netminder. Really, how many wake up calls do they need? Third period, the puck bounces over to Konstantin Panov. He feeds Yukutsena. Dig that one out. It's 2 0 Tractor. Yukutsena was his third of the playoffs and that would be his second point of the night. He's been decent this season. Just over 60 seconds later, Andrei Kostitsin goes for a back and Ramos saves rebound and Andrei Popov makes a 3 0 Tractor. That's his second of the playoffs and he pretty much puts a lead on it. Everything seems to work for Tractor. Avangard is frustrated and that leads to a brawl minutes later. Right next to the big scrum, Evgeny Kuznetsov and Tomasz Zaborski go for a wrestle. And it looks like Zaborski won a little more out of it, but the gloves were never dropped and they both had to go for 4 minutes. It's roughing. That's all she wrote for this one. Traktor takes a 3 0 lead in the series. Avangard is still scoreless in the series. Can you believe it? Michael Garnett with his third shoutout in a row, 3 0 Traktor final. Salavat Yulaya vs. Akbar's Green Series, Game 3, and Salavat with a scoring chance. Stefan Ruzicka sends Nikita Filatov on a breakaway. He can beat Konstantin Barulin. Second period now, Denis Kulash is set for a shot. He's got a cannon. He unloads it on Iritarki, but he makes it look easy. Still no goals in this one. A little later, Konstantin Karneev blasts one from the blue line. Tarki saves, rebound. Alexei Tereshenko shoots twice from a point blank range. It still doesn't go in. Are you kidding me? Tarki makes two huge leg saves in a row to keep it a tie game. Now check this out. Face off in Akbar's zone. Akbar gets the puck. Dmitry Obokhov skates up, passes it to Yanni Passan and feeds Yarko Iman and scores. They finally got one past Iwo Tarki. 1-0 Akbar. They couldn't score on Tarki for over six periods. They were heavily out shooting Salavat in this game, but this is the only one so far that went in. But just over a minute later, they score another one. Nikola Jure feeds Denis Golubov and he makes it 2-0. That's his second of the playoffs. Not bad for a fourth liner. What is surprising though is that Jure was put on the fourth line in this game. Akbar slows things down in the third. They kill off a late 5-on-3 and as a reward they get an empty netter by Kirill Petrov. Fans who made it to Ufa are mighty excited. Akbar couldn't afford to go down 3-0 in the series and they didn't. Iritarki made 35 saves, but that just wasn't enough. They're gonna see each other again tomorrow. Akbar's cut Salavat's lead in the series in half. It's 2-1 now. 3 0 Akbar is the final for this one. Ivan Kasudin is facing Vasily Koshchkin as SKA goes up against Severstal. If SKA wins tonight, they will sweep Severstal out of the playoffs. And it starts ugly. Less than 10 minutes in, Evgeny Mont sneezes Ivan Nipraev, and that hurts. Mons was really late with a hit, and Nipraev is in the world of fame because of that. Mons gets 5 in a game, and Nipraev will not return to the ice either. And soon power play, Kevin Dalman shoots it on air, rebound, and Dmitry Kalinin sends in a stinger, 1-0 SKA. He had 2 assists last night, and that would be his first of the postseason. He missed most of the first round due to an injury. The panel is finally over, Pavel Buchnevich is out of the box and on a breakaway, goes glove side, Robbed by Ivan Kasudin, what a save! Late in the first, Severstal is on the power play. Vadim Shipachov shoots, rebound. Denis Kazyanov takes a swing, it goes off the ice and in. Tie game. Kazyanov scores his second of the playoffs, although Severstal needed him to contribute a little more than that. Two goals and two game misconducts? That's not exactly what you want from your first line in the postseason. Second period, Mikhail Anisim breaks into the zone, takes a shot and it just trickles in. Sevastal takes the lead, 2-1. He loves rushes like this. Sometimes he does turn the puck over and cause trouble for his team, but sometimes it leads to this. 
That's his six of the playoffs. Shortly after, SKA kills off a penalty. They go for a counterattack. Panarin sets up Jure Alexandrov and he ties us at twos. He was the one in the box for SKA. Severstal should have been more careful with the puck late on the power play. Alexandrov used to play for Severstal too, by the way. Now here's the key moment of the game. Gennady Stilirov gets on the breakaway, fakes, goes pipe hole. Ivan Kasubin stops him and the play goes the other way. Maxima Finagena with the puck now. He loses it for Alex Kuchirabenko. He shoots, he scores 3-2. It's SKA with the lead again. That's his fifth of the playoffs. People rarely talk about him, but his shooting accuracy percentage is amazing. 25% of his shots in the regular season went in. Viktor Tikhonov and Patrick Torsten celebrate this goal in the box, but they don't know yet that it's going to be a game-winning goal. Late in the period, Kucherovinko with a beautiful outlet pass to Evgeny Artukin to set him for a breakaway, and he makes the most out of it. 4-2 SKA. That sucks the life out of Severstal. They never recovered from that goal. They could get back into the game here, though. Early in the third, the puck found its way to Pachrodin Gimbata, but he missed a wide open net in front of him, and SK didn't make a single mistake after that. They sweep in Severstal from the playoffs and go on to conference final for a second consecutive season. 4 2 SKA is your final. Dynamo Moscow is lacing them up against Red Army, game four of the series. Dynamo leads 2 1, and Red Army wants to get back even. Late in the first, Dominic Granek sets up Sergei Soim and he scores top shelf. 1-0 Dynamo Moscow. Red and Champs take the lead. Soim scores his first of the playoffs. He's a fourth line on Dynamo in most of the games, but he played on the top line tonight. He's in his second year with Dynamo. Early in the second now, Dmitry Kugrushev passes it to Nikolai Prokhorkin. He shoots Yurman Kistov, but the puck is still loose and Prokhorkin sends it home for his third of the postseason. 1-1. An amazing young forward, he started this season with the Manchester Monarchs of the AHL but came back and really stepped up his game in the playoffs. He earned his ice time and scored goals in back-to-back -back games. A little later, Sergei Soin on a breakaway, can't hold on to the puck, Sergei Konkov takes a shot instead, can't put it home either, still 1-1 in this one. Third period now, Alek Kvasha takes a shot from the left side, Yuramen stops it, it's in the air, Alex Rudulov takes a swing, misses the puck. That was really, really close. Overtime, the game is on the line. Dynamo is on the rush. Yuri Babenko throws it in front. Konkov tips it and he scores. Less than a minute into overtime, Dynamo scores a goal and it's over. This is the fastest OT win of this playoff so far. Not a lot of scoring chances for either team in this affair. This is playoff hockey at its best and that's something Dynamo Moscow thrives on. They take a 3-1 lead in the series and Radarmi is facing elimination now. 2-1 OT final. And that's it for your daily KHL update. My name is Andreas Sachenko. We'll see you tomorrow.